we create. We take the uh, we take a blank page, a, a, a page of nothingness, and create life. We've written 2,561. 61 movies. Screenplays. Almost. Which is a world record. Uh, we haven't confirmed that it's a world record, no. right? But who can compete with that? And who would who would want to? Who would want to at this point? You can't. What we no. do is is like a, these screenplays are a gift, are a gift from God. Yeah, right? uh, I would say a gift to God. Yeah. You're welcome, God. Yeah. We're even. In addition to movies, we've also written for television. We've written one for uh, Law and Order, right? And we did a South Park. South Park and is in here. Oh, there's a Baywatch. Yeah. Baywatch. The Baywatch one was really good. It was really edgy. Uh, but it ended up that the censors wouldn't have allowed it anyway because it called for uh, full frontal nudity. Yeah, they don't... Uh... Oh, I know well, that now. We found out now that David Hasselhoff doesn't do full frontal nudity. Yeah. You know. None of our scripts have actually been produced. That's correct. Um, yeah. But... The Beatles, uh, yeah, we when they were starting out, yeah. were probably rejected dozens of times mm -hmm. before they got signed and went on to what they did. Yeah, um, um, singing. Yeah, so we've been rejected a few thousand times. So, you know, I'm not saying we're better than the Beatles, but do the math. I don't even think the Beatles even wrote screenplays. No. And how many would they have written? Yeah, even if they did. Yeah. So, you know, take that. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, so over the years we've saved each and every uh, rejection letter we've ever had. Yeah, it's a couple thousand. We save these because when we do become international sensations, we can uh, shove these up the crotch of all those heartless bastards who uh, tried crushing our dreams. Paramount Pictures. For uh, example. Thank you for your submission, Indiana Jones and the Tickling Goblin of Fire. Excellent script. Yeah. We have no need for your script at this time. Yeah. Big we don't like money, apparently. No. Well, but you know what? Paramount's uh, loss could be Warner Brothers' gain. Yeah. I, no. No. They... Oh, wait. No, this is a no contact order. Oh, we saved these as well. Yeah, this has been misfiled. Okay, I'll put that in. This no. one's funny. This one's from... We sent the, the Sylvester Stallone's mum's life story. To Sylvester Stallone's company. And, yeah. and they had what? no interest in it. it yeah. Like, we're a big fan of her, yeah. and we just thought it'd be a nice tribute, yeah. but, I don't know. Yeah. You can't, I mean, they're so fickle in their yeah. choices. Maybe he's want. waiting for a really good Frank Stallone biopic. Yeah. Which we've also got in the yeah. works. Which, do women want to have sexual, sexual relations with me? Yeah, I think they probably do. Because you're a screenwriter. Because I'm a screenwriter. I, 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 uh, Why else? Um... Well, that can be tough because are they interested in me because I'm, I'm, I can bring them a, a glimpse of Hollywood or because they're like me for me. So I basically just don't date. I have, I don't, I have no interest in getting involved in that sort of scene. Just Well, for me, I, I don't need the distractions of a, of a woman or getting into that sort of relationship. The only relationship I'm interested in is with my writing. All right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll go out on dates with women all right and i'll have sex with them i mean lots of women gorgeous women i mean that's that's me but <laughs> I, I committed date, to though. the writing all mm -hmm. right for me the keyboard is my lady right a coffee and date this morning my went hands pretty, actually went pretty well on my mistress muffin did you did you get catch what i just said because it was good it was something about making love in my hand. Did you say you went on a uh, coffee date? Yeah, no, yeah. Ah, oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I, coffee yeah. date tonight. Most of my inspiration and Brad's comes from just watching the television shows that we enjoy. What you talking about, Willis? This is Willis. Hey, write that, get that, write that down. I'm going to use that one for sure. And I bet we can get that guy. Which, which guy, the black guy? Yeah, the tall one. What you talking about, Willis? Meryl Yablonski. Uh, Meryl is a friend, an acquaintance of ours, uh, but more importantly, he's a professional actor. And uh, Jamie and I will use him on occasion to, to read our scripts, which is fantastic because it helps reinforce all the things that Jamie and I are doing right. Think about it, you know, I'm, I'm a guy who knows talent, and uh, when I see these guys, you know, they're, uh, they're on the edge. You know, they're, they're not afraid to put themselves out there. They're certainly not afraid of rejection. And that's where I feel that, that you know, 
we combine. That's where it's at, you know? And I think the most important thing about working with people is that you feel that kind of connection. Yeah, and I think that, that, that fuels the, the fire, you know? Uh, it comes back to the, you know, the, the chef making a soup. What is it? A little bit of rejection. Um, mostly rejection, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Merrill. You're welcome. I gotta get in there. Important to remember that the words, we're not gonna improvise the words. No. They're, they are sort of the foundation, they're the frame. Um, well, and what you do is, is uh, I don't wanna say not as important. unimportant. Yeah, this, let's do it again, and, and this time, I don't want to just, I don't want to say do it with more talent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Shall we continue? Yeah. Okay. So maybe it was wrong to bring you to a Vietnamese restaurant on Christmas, but, but Dad, God damn it. Vietnam was 20 years ago, and it doesn't exist anymore. The only place Vietnam lives is in your heart. Damn the Vietnam of your heart. You let the Viet Cong close your heart, but God damn it, Dad. Open your heart to love. Open your heart to me, the daughter you didn't know you had until I showed up on your doorstep this afternoon. Thanks to you banging that prostitute in Hanoi, my mother, who not only gave you syphilis, but me, your daughter. So pick whatever you want off your menu, my treat and let your heart love. Dad, I'm gay. Yes. And scene. scene. That one, yeah. I felt it a little bit thick. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was the writing or he, well, no, it was probably mostly the writing, but it was you. No, it's, well, it's a comedy. You gave it a life. I, I, he actually did do it with more talent. Yeah. Well, the gay thing, I really believed. Obviously, we're creative. Yeah. And we, we, we fuel each other. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, you'll, Hit that spark and boom! Yeah. It's a hit. I remember uh, the best example is when we wrote that line, it's a beautiful, beautiful bow tied together, together with love and hate. hate. You <laughs> bastard! Sure. Son of a... See what I mean? Like, it's just that creativity out of boom, out of nowhere, yeah. right? That was, uh, that? Yeah, that was a Beyonce song. That was, that, that yeah. line. Yeah. And remember we heard it, we went, God, we gotta use that. We gotta use six that. Six times we used six it. Six times, and because if it's, uh, if it's original, it's worth repeating. Yeah. We've always said that. Yeah, I agree. God wouldn't have given us this insane power to dream like this, I don't think, without giving us the talent. And I think he gave us both. Um, so we don't, we don't have a choice. We'll keep dreaming and keep writing our screenplays and making magic. And I, I don't know, maybe it'll take 2,562 scripts or maybe 2,563. Might take a million, I don't know, but one thing I do know is that we're not going to stop, and we're going to keep trying. There ain't no point in stopping now.